tonight on ABC7. Deloitte and Sanders, two unstoppable broads, take on another bad guy. Will they prevail, or will this be the end of them as we know it? Stay tuned to find out. Get your hands up! Pull them up! Pull them up! What did I even do? Listen, you committed a crime. Yeah, you know what you did. Who are you two? What are you doing in my house? I didn't commit no crime. We're gonna do a little good cop, bad cop, smart cop, stupid cop. Which one of you is the smart cop? I am! Okay, which one of you is the stupid cop? She is! Hi! Listen, the point is, you've been caught red-handed. Yeah, pack your bag. You're going up the river. I didn't do nothing wrong with nobody. Oh, you did something wrong with somebody. Oh, everything wrong with everybody. <laughs> I'm Sanders, and this here is Deloitte. And we're here to show you who's, who's boss. But you two is a, a women. Only at the five. And every other Sunday. <laughs> hey, who turned out the lights? Here we go. Oh, just my foot. I know people, and they're gonna come after you two broads. Hey, you know what I'm thinking? What are you thinking? That Paulie here looks a whole lot like Mrs. Mrs. Jefferson. That's right. The old art teacher down at the rec center. You don't think? I think. Huh, and it appears we are right about the uncanny resemblance. Because looky here at this letter, signed, Mrs. Jefferson. Oh boy. Yeah. I'm free. And you two are gonna wish you never been born. Wait. Do you think I ever wish to be born? Yeah, neither of us ever wish for that. A cool car, maybe. But being born? No. Hey, who turned out the lights? Here we go. Ouch! That's my foot again! Guess you broads aren't so smart after all. I'm hungry after all this nonsense. I'm gonna go make myself a sandwich. Wish you two could clean up after me. But you'll be dead. In 60 seconds, I break this place to blow. That's the last straw. Yeah, I've had enough of this guy. Nobody tells me to clean up after myself except for my mother. And you know what happened to her. Well, looking for the both of us, I remember that Mrs. Jefferson always kept an X-Acto knife in her back pocket, which I happened to snag when he was tying us up. Call me loose! Guys, I fuse this bomb. Red wire before blue wire, unless said wire is new wire. Well, how do we know it's in the wire? I don't freaking know. Well, lucky for the both of us, I happen to notice that Polly had wire dust on his shoes. You don't think? Yeah, he's running his scam out of the wire factory down by the docks. Oh, that's how he's running his shipment out of China. What are you doing? <laughs> do the wire! Do the wire! <sighs> I forgot the pickle. Hey, who turned out the lights? Here we go! Ouch, that's my foot! What do you have to say for yourself there, Paulie? Yeah, your whole operation's been shut down. You'll probably spend the next 25 years of your life in a federal prison. Unless, of course, there's terrible overcrowding, in which case you'll be in a county jail. And I know for a fact there's overcrowding in there. Perhaps they'll release you upon your own recognizance. And if that's the case, we'll be on you like white on rice. Yeah, I got something to say. You know, no fella's ever gonna wanna settle down with you two broads. What do we care? We're Deloitte and Sanders. And we got each other. Next week on Deloitte and Sanders, these two unstoppable broads take on the city's biggest mob boss, Melissa Carey. Will they prevail, or will this be the end of them as we know it? Stay tuned to find out.